the Great Commission to the disciples Jesus had been crucified and everything seemed to go from bad to worse until in the end they were in a, a room with closed doors for fear of the Jews for fear of their own lives being taken and to them everything to them it was a closed door the world wasn't their oyster they were in a small room and that was it and to them they were so depressed and so low everything come to a standstill and there was a a huge wall in the way and uh, they they were too afraid to venture out it was a closed door but then all of a sudden Jesus started to appear he'd risen from the dead and he started to appear to people in different places at different times and of course he appeared to his 11 disciples and in verse 16 of Matthew 28 then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee to the mountain which Jesus appointed for them and when they saw him they worshipped him but some doubted and Jesus came and spoke to them saying all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. The door had been closed. All of a sudden, Jesus appeared and the door to the world was flung wide open and they got the divine commission from Jesus to go out into all the world with the good news about salvation in him and what he, what he had accomplished through his atoning work on the cross and so when Jesus opens the door no man can shut it as we look into Revelation chapter 3 verse 7 Jesus is addressing the churches here and uh, he's speaking to one of the churches and it's called the Faithful Church and it's the Church of Philadelphia and he says this to his servant John and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write these things says he who is holy he who is true he who has the key of David he who opens and no one shuts and shuts and no one opens I know your works see I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it, for you have a little strength, and have kept my word, and have not denied my name. And so that message that came to the disciples on that day is relevant for us today. And if Jesus has promised you an open door, and he's put you into a, a place, and he wants you to continue in that place to do his work, then no man can shut that door that door will remain open there isn't a man or a spiritual being or a devil that can close the door and all the persecution and everything that might be thrown against you will not stop that door will not close that door because when Jesus opens the door that's it and he said I've set before you an open door and no one can shut it and even though we might have a little strength it's not us who keeps that door open because we're abiding in him and when we're trusting in him his mighty arm will keep that door open and we'll be able to accomplish the task what God has given us to do and not worry about that door slamming in our faces so let's trust in Jesus and uh, not worry about that anymore but know that we can accomplish finish the work and get on with it and forget about worrying about that door slamming in our faces anymore thank you for listening today